Good evening. I'm Lawrence Rogers for Atamapta. Tonight we'll watch as Noel Rogers, an Inu Valley trapper from the Delta, goes out and shows his nephew Ian Joel Rogers how to set corner bear trap for mink and also set rabbit and lynx snares. The corner bear trap is still new to Noel and he's still learning the new ways to set the trap. We hope you enjoyed this program as much as we did producing it. Thank you. Today is November 9th. The trapping season for mink starts tomorrow. So Noel Rogers, an Inu Valley trapper, checks out his corner bear traps to make sure they're in good working condition and to make a few adjustments to some of his traps. But first of all, because we just got out in the bush, there's fish to be caught out there. Noel knows of a good creek not too far from his place. Hooking for fish through the ice is one way Inuvalut would catch their supply of fish for winter, as well as food for their dogs. But today, it's mainly for pastime and the delicious lodge liver and eggs, which we'll be having for our supper, as Noel doesn't use pulling dogs anymore.
On the 10th, Noah woke to quite a blizzard, high wind and blowing snow. A good day to stay home and do work around the camp. First of all, there's wood to be cut for the stove. Noah cut quite a few blocks from a big log earlier this fall, so he had some on hand. All he had to do was split them. Then there's water to be hauled. He has quite a ways to pack the five gallon pail, so he makes it easier by using his skidoo and toboggan. Not too much time sitting around when you're out in the bush camp. Always something to do out there. When the wind slowed down a bit, we moved from his little cabin on the Mackenzie to James Rogers' camp on the Peterson River to trap from there for a while. This is the site where Noah grew up and this is where his father settled with his family many years ago. Noah learned a lot of his traditional and trapping methods from his dad and now he's going to teach his nephew, Ian Joel, those methods as well as some of his own. Ian Joel is eight years old. That's about how old Noel was when his dad passed on his knowledge to him. 
Every trapper has his own way of trapping, and Noel is no exception. Learning a new way of setting traps is what Noel had to experience when the Lego trap was partially banned and a new quick kill trap was introduced to the north. Conrad Bates of Renewable Resources explains. Okay, well the leg hole trap is, is uh, it's not necessarily going to be completely banned. Um, the reason we are moving to more humane trap systems is, is pretty much because that's what the customer wants. Um, there's, there's, there's pressure not only just on us up here in the Delta or in the Northwest Territories, but all over Canada and in a lot of other countries that, uh, that trap animals um, and, and sell fur for, uh, for coats, uh, whatever. There, there is pressure to use the most humane trap systems that are available. And in the 1990s, um, there are more humane trap systems that are available um, other than the leg hold. Noel started his trap line quite a few years ago, so he knows where the mink and marten like to travel by. First of all, he starts by cutting small driftwood for the housing of the bait and for a stick for the trap to sit on so it doesn't freeze to the snow. After the house is made, the bait is put in and the trap is put resting on the stick in front of the house. Then he tries to make sure that the animal has no other entryway but through the trap itself. After making sure the trap is set to his satisfaction, it's just a matter of waiting.
Farther along his trap line, Noel finds one of his link snares that he hung up last spring, and he sets it up again. This is first done by walking in the bush, then coming back on the same trail. The lynx, like any cat, is a curious animal. He'll follow the trail and eventually get caught. Again, it's just a matter of waiting. After setting his last trap for the day, Noel set some rabbit snares. Noel enjoys eating rabbit soup when he is out in his bush camp. On this trip, Ian Joel is a willing helper as well as an eager learner.
Back home, after supper, Noel, Leonard, and Ian relax for the evening after a long day on the trap line. <coughs> Noel and Ian are reading, and Leonard is busy getting ready for another day. Next morning, Noel is busy cooking breakfast, getting ready for another hard day on the trail. On the day Noel was going to check his traps, he woke up quite early expecting to catch something in one of his traps. After checking a few traps, he came upon this one and he really didn't quite know what it was until he took the snow off its fur. After thawing it out, the marten will be skinned and stretched. This one will bring in about $75, according to the new fur pricing program coming from Yellowknife. Conrad Bates of Inuvik explains. Like I said earlier, I, I guess uh, we, we have noticed a bit of an increase this year. Part of that is, is I think, a result of our fur pricing program. Um, the trapping industry is kind of funny in that it's one of the, the, the few industries where you need to invest a considerable amount of money to go out and say in 1st of November start trapping and you don't know what you're going to get for your furs. So what the government has done is um, come up with a fur pricing program where we can guarantee for certain species and for only for, for top quality, well handled, undamaged skins will guarantee a certain price. It's, uh, it's much the same as the old fur advance system, but um, if your fur sells for less than what we've given you on the advance system, then we'll absorb the difference. Um, for example, uh, uh, Martin, uh, if a person brings in a, a well-handled, top-quality Martin that, that's, that's not damaged in any way, he's guaranteed over two payments $75. The first payment when he brings it in, he'll get $55 for it um, right away. And then in the fall time, um, he'll get another $20 for that Martin. It's still early in the season, so Noel still has a few months to keep his traps on for the long furs. Next comes the trapping of the muskrat. Noel says he'll be out there this spring, as the price for the muskrat is also pretty good. Until then, good luck this trapping season.
How about how about for the muskrat? Uh, it's just about the muskrat season. It's just about the <coughs> opening. Um, what's what's the pricing on the muskrat? Okay, for the muskrat, it's uh, a guaranteed uh, price of three dollars. For again, for top quality, well handled pelts, um, the first payment being two dollars, and then in the fall time again, he'll get another dollar. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching the Mopta. Minister of Renewable Resources Sala Zaganak of Yellowknife says there will be a guaranteed price for furs this year. So all you trappers out there, keep up the good work. And for you viewers on TV and C, Tamapta goes on every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time. Our address will be coming up shortly. Thanks again for watching.